hello everyone so today we start with a new video on interview questions okay so today we'll be covering the questions that comes under ccna interviews okay so let's get started okay so this is the first question that what is the ttl value for this router 3 interface ethernet 0 by 0 okay so while we are calculating the ttl value the ttl value starts from 255 okay but it it only starts after when our default router started sending it to the to the next default gateway okay so while here on ethernet 0 by 1 our ttl value is 255 okay while it was reaching to router 2 ethernet 0 by 0 the new value is 254 okay because the ttl value uh, deduct by 1 correct after reaching to the next home and from here the final ttl value is 253 so 253 is the answer for it okay second question so here you'll see that the answer i've also added that you know while uh, the host one reaches here so this is the output okay the second question is based on the below diagram which switch is elected as a root bridge okay so by default we say that the uh, while having the election in in regards with the root bridge it first check for the priority correct and the second thing is mac addresses so if the priority between the two switches if there is a tie between that okay so then it will check for the lowest mac address correct so here you will see that here the priority is this is one for this switch four okay so it will select this particular switch as root bridge okay okay now in this question we are going to we have to see that how many broadcast and collision domains are there okay so you, in terms of broadcast domain the broadcast domain can only be break with the help of router only router can break the broadcast domain so you can see that this is the first broadcast domain this is the second broadcast domain so there are two broadcast domains we have okay and in terms of collision domains the switch and the router both can able to both can able to do a collision domain okay so here you will see that here this is the hub correct so this considered hole as one collision domain okay and switch also breaks into the collision zone so there are five systems that are connected at the access side okay so five and this is also the one collision domain so total five plus one six plus one here so there is seven collision domains and there are two broadcast domains okay this question is done so here I gave uh, this uh, a little bit theory so that you can able to check. Uh, the next question is which switch the STP can become a root switch. Okay, so here we already discussed that the default priority is 32768. Okay, if the priority is tie then we have to check the MAC addresses. So you'll see that A and B that has the default priority. Now we're going to see the lowest MAC addresses. So this is the lowest MAC address. So a is the answer for that okay so the next question is route summarization okay so to perform route summarization these are the routes given to us okay as in 10.0.0.0 slash 24 okay one is 1.0 10.0.1.0 10.0.2.0 10.0.3.0 okay so these are the th subnets that has been provided okay now before doing this we have to put as in uh, the seven bits 124 8 16 32 64 and 128 okay so these are the eight bits we have correct so the 10 is a whole common point okay so this is 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 correct so whole of the four has this common bit as 0 0 0 0 one zero one zero these are all zeros so it will be eight zeros here as well correct and the third one is zero 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 okay so first bit is done now for one one is all seven are zeros rest correct there is two so this zero all rest are zeros correct and 
the last one is also zero okay so there are eight zeros as well okay so by the end we can verify it as this is also 10 so we'll put it 10 he is also zero so we'll put zeros now you can see here that all those six bits are zeros okay only two bits are uh, used okay so you see here this is one this is one this is zero this is zero okay so these all are differential bits rest all are common okay so what we do is we put zero here and we have slash 24 right okay so these are the two bits that there are uses so we deduct the two bits so it's 22 and these are also zeros so the answer is 10.0.0.0 slash 20 okay so during during that time you have to explain them completely that when a switch receives receive the frame okay so the what what the frame will do is at the first the frame will examine the destination mac address okay it will check for the destination mac address okay and look up in the mac address table okay like the cam table inside the switch that which port the frame should forward to like which is the next port the the frame should forward to so that it will reach to the destination okay so it it maintains it maintains the in the cam table about the mac address and the port number of that okay so when when the when the switch receives the frame it check for the destination mac address okay and, and it will check it in the mac table okay and then you can able to check uh, it will take the decision that which is the next port uh, do it need to for next question so you know we have added whole thing here that the switch 2 uses the destination mac address correct so when a frame is received it examines the destination MAC address in the frame correct now uh, which command you use on Cisco router to verify the layer uh, okay so you can see the first option is tracer the tracer is used on the PC okay so on the endpoints if you want to check the the routing routes uh, so we use that so for router we use this command as B okay so B is the correct option for okay so in this question the question is given as a static route so this is the destination is configured on router 1 what command will be used so from router 1 if you want to uh, add the command as static routes to reach to the destination so static routes is done using the 2 1 is the exit interface and the second one is the next hope okay so we give the command as IP route then destination address then the next hope and the second command is exit interface so this is the exit interface here we are exiting the traffic to reach to the next router okay so these are the two options okay so I also mentioned it here as well you can refer it okay so the second thing is which parameters is used by OSPF to calculate the cost okay so the OSPF uses uh, to calculate the cost the OSPF has the command about uh, while calculating it, it uses the mathematical formula as in uh, reference bandwidth upon link bandwidth okay to calculate it okay so here it's uh, it is given as bandwidth so a is the correct one it will not use the delay okay it only uses bandwidth to calculate the cost